back in Missouri. It'll be good to see Wendy. And she's right over there. Hello! <laughs> good to see ya. Should I put the stuff in the back or in the, tr in the back of the truck? Absolutely. It was really good to get back here with Wendy. Since we met, this had been the longest we had ever been apart. It was about four months. I should have taken some video inside the truck. Our dog Eros also missed me. He was just glued to me practically the whole ride back here. Apologies in advance for the wind noises in the following clips. The morning after I got here was breezy. Valkyrie at least gets on the stand right away. Yeah, she's, she's a big girl. and then I get just enough milk to do a couple days of cream in my coffee kind of thing and you know like for example I made scalloped potatoes and I made the, an apple pancake that had a little bit of milk in it so I get enough for a couple days and then I do it again. So I strip a little bit off look at it just to make sure there's no mastitis or anything. I know a lot of people have fancy strip cups and stuff. I just use this because I can see pretty easily. So That wasn't very much. It doesn't need to be very much. I think people strip a whole bunch off and it doesn't really need to be. You just need to remove the bacteria plug that's in there and get the milk that's out of this tea. So... One, one side at a time? Yeah, I just do one side at a time. She, she's really tiny teats, and I'm not going to get very much because she's obviously milking. I'll get more off of Rogue, not hardly anything off of Bonnie. And Valkyrie also holds milk back really quite a bit, so you can see her udder has milk in it, but she won't give me the whole thing. Rogue will. Doing the milk share with the kids because then I know she's at least getting, she's not going to get mastitis because I didn't strip it enough or something like that because she does hold milk way up here. So. I'm not going to get very much on That's maybe the side um, Romeo with nurses on. Luckily. So, not very much. Tiny little bit. One I goat. My coffees for a couple days. One goat down. Sienna, Sienna, come on. 
she's ready to go play with the babies, I guess. She doesn't like leaving the baby. out but it's dairy goat grain and sunflower seeds and alfalfa pellets and they really like it so you like this routine I don't like where I'm at you need to have a better place to do it yeah, I'm hitting my head on this and windy out here, so stuff is blowing all around at me. I don't have spots to put my jars that I feel safe about them. I can't keep arrows out. I can't keep the other goats from coming out once I let them in. So, I, you know, sometimes Valkyrie comes over here and tries to eat everybody's food. So, <laughs> it's a little bit of chaos right now, but it's controlled chaos. Seems like Rogue would be the one to want to come over and eat the food. Rogue is, she eats so fast that she fills up. So I think Valkyrie will eat slowly and then she'll go wander around a little bit and she'll be like, oh, Sam's over there shitty.
like I just get little teeny little dribbles <laughs> off her. And but this year Valkyrie's producing, I can already tell more milk than she did the year before. So I think they'll improve a little bit, which so I'm glad I rebred Val Valkyrie so that I can see that. Um, and then we'll I'm hoping that next year we can breed Gretel to a new goat that we get for our Bonnie as well and then see how we can improve the butter size. So I really need to pay attention to the genetics, the genetics of the buckling to make sure that, that it's coming from really good milk lines with big udders because my goats have pretty small udders. So I really want to improve the udders. They have nice lines and their legs do kick out a little. So Rogue is a less cooperative? No, she's fine. Hey, you are a menace. Ow! So Rogue has a pretty good udder. Yep. It's a little lopsided in that one side is tends to be more slightly bigger teeth because Bonnie nursed on her for like a year after she was supposed to, no matter what I did. <laughs> we separated her for a month and that baby, not a baby anymore, came back and kept nursing. She's a pain in the butt. She's a fat, fat girl. <laughs> You'll have to watch Bandit and see if he does well, the same because he's a, he's a little chub, chub muffin himself right now already. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, Good that he's a chub muffin because he's actually nursing <laughs> So she seems to be actually evening out a tiny bit. You can see I can get a ton more and I can use three fingers instead of one. So show us after three full goats, yeah. just is, about a half of a quart jar. Yeah, but this is with them having their kids on them all the time. So, you know, I've been leaving the kids on them because we just don't have the right kind of setup and it's going to be a challenge. We'll figure it out so that we can do it. But with Brian gone, it was too difficult for me to try and wrangle it. I thought about it and tried to come up with a plan, but I think it would have been very stressful and take a really long time in the morning and I had other things I needed to get done too, so. Right, well, the process will evolve. Yep. Bonnie is Rogue's daughter and they both look very much the same. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not milking Bonnie here. We're just getting her used to some of the process that's going to be involved when we do milk her. And nothing bad happens. She gets treats. Yeah. This will give me an idea of how she's going to be. Uh, yeah, well, she's not used to it. She's got a little bit of her mom's wanting to squat. <laughs> anything but she's also belching a lot so <laughs> do you want to demonstrate the uh, final process that we didn't get on camera the last time the uh, cleaning what the product is
Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.